I could not find the photo that normally goes in the background, so instead, I have this photo of Lucius, the main character of our story. Um, I don't know where we left off, so I'm just gonna start with the chapter Ryle, because it's kinda, did like the turning point of the fanfiction. So, <coughs> chapter 35, Ryle. Furry Steve fastened his new dog collar onto his new baby. Okay now, little Wolfie, let's go to Furry M and Chuck E. Cheese. They were closed because they were clean glass. <laughs> End of chapter 35. Chapter 36. Why do I feel the sudden urge to shove a turkey leg up my... Beep! Lord Voldemort rang the doorbell at Chuck E. Cheese, standing next to the furry Steve and his stolen wolf baby, who were peering inside. We still clean glass. One of the employees said it was... Lucius! He had an apron on and a black domino mask. Keep it on! Wolfie cried. What the hell are you cleaning? Voldemort asked. It's a jar of piss, Lucius said, continuing to carefully clean the glass. Change, Furry Steve said, now on the floor with a cup. He would never get a job. He was homeless with a kid. Someone threw a penny at him. End of chapter 36. Chapter 37. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Okay, well, when you're done cleaning glass, can you clean my ass statue of a dollar? Voldy Mowat said. But, sir, I have a big, meaty claws. Do it all, put Wolfie and I- Chapter 38, Clean Cleaning Glass. Lucius gave a small scowl and flipped the light switch off in Chuck E. Cheese so bystanders would stop staring at his cute bum as clean glass. Are you half 100% beep thermometer or pure? Voldemort asked for a Steve. Oh, I'm 100% beef born, Steve replied. Ew, Voldemort said he hated beef warns. Steve and Voldemort began to slap each other's hands. Someone knocked in the window at Chuck E. Cheese. It was the clang last lemon that. End of chapter 38. Chapter 39. X O no. After Lucius had finished cleaning the glass, he put up a help wanted sign. It read, Nigga, nigga, nigga. You can't clean any glass. You want any hand hands up for nasty ass hand sanitizer. And this is the negro place for you. Shoelaces are strictly forbidden. Love the GGG. Everyone took shots of Lennon and Maine. End of chapter 39. Chapter 40. The Slug Club. Let me in first, Steve said as he pounded on the in window of Chuck E. Chess. No, I have the right to go in first. I am Lord Voldemort. I am pure beat for my turn. He shouted and put Steve over his knee. Voldemort took out a hairbrush from his pocket and began to spank him. Wolfie cried. Voldemort then took out a blue ballpoint pen and wrote bad boy on his head. <laughs> that would teach him! Steve sniffled and sat up. Fight! Voldemort sat and pulled out his katanta and began to swing it around. Lucius and walked out of the building and squealed like a little girl when he saw the sword. He held up his skirt and danced on top of a chair. Someone looked at us. Lucius. Are you done yet? No! We're stuck in the house and then the statue that I get to play, play in my job I do. End of chapter 41. I mean, end of chapter 40. Chapter 41, Christmas Special. It was the eve of Santa Miss and Wolfie was on its phone. It's an iPhone! The Christmas lights were lighting bright on the rocket ship. Wait, Wolfie, is it a girl or what here? End of chapter 41. Chapter 42, still clean glass in the secret to the hidden temple. Lucius was still clean glass, Luminakian. The skeletons were having a war on Doom Mountain. A hippie eats Alma's house. End of chapter 42. Chapter 43. No guts and no glory. Woo, Raven, check out this invisible prey, said the flying Dutchman. You do realize we're both goes. Eh? What? Check out the flying can invisible spray that's smoking a blunt, said Scooby-Doo. Yeah, man, said Kevin. Skocky Boo took can and sprayed Kevin's guts. No guts, no glory. Kevin took out the bottle and sprayed Scooby's clothes. It stains close <coughs> several mean whiles later. Okay, get chicky. Dog and dog cater went to Rat Palace. They broke glass. Luke you screamed. They clogged toilets. Chucky e. Cheese explode. The end. Or is it <laughs> Exclamation exclamation point question mark question mark question mark End of chapter forty three. Chapter forty four. We're all out of glass cleaner. 
screaming limit on us! No glass cleaning! We will never finish cleaning glass! A new person was here. Her name was Autumn Bowers. Tell us about yourself, Autumn Bum! My house is Gryffindor and I'm Harry's girlfriend. I have the same skin. I lurk in the shadows and scare Slytherin. I scared Malfoy and splash water in his face! End of chapter 44. Chapter 45. Dumbledore breaks a limb. Meanwhile at Doom Mountain, Dumbledore, where do you think these skeletons came from? Raven, Vesper, and trying to hide. The skeletons were shooting people with their brines. Oh my goodness! And Dumbledore yodeled. Dumbo! No! Passion screamed and went to his side. His arms were glass. They were breaking. Lucas knew that Jake was Dumbledore's secret all along. He wasn't even human. He was just a glass statue with a weird brain thing. Maybe that's why Alma was so messed up. Anyways, it, it was a trash shaver as possesses his dead body. Dumbledore gasped, clutching his arm. We need to send someone to the underground. We need to stop him before he possesses his nose of our dead people, he said. Is it Heather down there? You didn't even mention nobody had a shit about her. She's so annoying. Oh, gee, I forgot about that. Dumbledore had a moment. Oh, my God, I'm a screeching. Come your tit, Dumbledore said. Only one tit. Let the other tit go out. Get your party tit. All right, that's all I'm doing tonight. Uh, Thanks for what? No, no, don't do an extra. I'm not. <laughs>